nerves are going crazy. You know why? Because we just spent one thousand dollars on a 10 by 15 storage unit and it's all off one little hunch i'm not gonna lie i'm scared let's get into this thing Why would I spend that kind of money on a unit this ugly? Well, it's because I have a little bit of an obsession with weapons and with this kind of stuff visible from the front. Look at this. There's knives right here. This could very well potentially be a case for a certain, you know, item. And if you look over here, you can already see a quiver with arrows in it. And that's just in the front. And if you buy storage units and stuff in the back is usually where the good stuff's at. So if that's in the front, who knows what could be in the back. Let's take out a few of these knives. Cause this is why we bought the unit. Knife number one. First off, look at that pretty handle. That is beautiful. Ooh, and look at that knife. Mm. That's it's vicious. Brutal. <laughs> this is vicious. So you go in somebody and you pull it out. This is going to grab everything and take it right back out with it. And it's got a nice little sheath. That's how you pronounce it, right? A nice little sheath with it. So knife number one. Pull out number two here. Ooh, look at that handle. It's like bone almost, isn't it? Looks like it. That's pretty cool too. Ooh, look at the design on the blade. That's pretty sick. Mm -hmm. Almost looks like it has some Gucci design in it. Yeah. <laughs> Gucci knife. That's pretty sick too. And this was just un hit, undone, but that fixes on there too. Another nice little shite, or whatever you call it. Sheath. Sheath. Why do I want to say shite? <laughs> I don't know. Ready for my ninja skills? Sword number one. Nice blade got a few little rusted parts like down here and stuff but overall pretty nice sword and I love the red and black that's my favorite color combination if you didn't know so that's pretty cool let's pull up this one. Oh, this is just the oh no it's not Ooh, Ooh. it's like bone cool that's pretty cool Ooh, look at that it's a nice little one Ooh. this is pretty cool already I like to shoot it so we got that one and we got this big boy here. Ooh, look at that blade. This one I'm gonna assume is like a display one because, ooh, the, the point's kind of sharp, but the actual blade itself here isn't that sharp. But look at that too. Got a nice tiger on it. So this was my hunch on buying this unit. This is why I figured $1,100 was a good idea because there's knives. So check this out too. It probably had a little cover at one point, but it's a nice NASCAR collectible. Usually you can like kind of profile the unit to look at them. If you see knives, bows and arrows, they're probably, you know, country people that like guns. They like NASCAR, they like collectibles and things like that. So when I see all those knives, I was kind of profiling it. Nice little NASCAR car. What is this thingy here? A base boomer? Yeah, that. Let's see if we can get this out the way. There's some plates here make sure they're not nothing special just looks like a typical plate to me nothing special get that out the way because look at this wooden box here ah, right here oh there's nothing in it or is it under this it's locked hmm I don't know what could be in there so this might be the box or this is something else NASCAR collector but we'll see I want to get in this red case I really do Let's see, first we got an umbrella. Is it a real umbrella? I know they make swords where this looks like a umbrella but it's actually a sword. That's a real umbrella. Check this out though. Look at all those arrows. That's a good sign there's gonna be a bow in here, I hope. They got points on them? They don't, so they might be brand new. Let's pull the whole thing out. Are they all pointless? No, some of them do have their points on them. Some of them don't. So, they might be new arrows. Ooh, they're sharp. Let's hope. But this is what I want to get to really quick. Oh, it's a gas can. Ah, oh, it's a freaking gas can. Well, that's okay. We're just in the front of the unit. Let's just get this stuff out the way. What in the heck is this thing? You see the handle on it? This looks dangerous. Like, I could beat somebody up pretty badly with this. And this is solid metal. You hear that? Do you guys know what that is? Let me know in the comments. Let's see what's in this really quick. So we got a box in a bag. A bag looks like it has. I don't know what in it. Oh look, a uh, phone charger thing. And what is that? A defender? Is that a taser? I don't know. I'm guessing. 
Let's see really quick. It feels like there's something in there. It feels really light if it's the actual taser. It's probably just a charger or something. Jeez, not opening. Open today. Thank you very much. No, it's just the charger, unfortunately. Junk. Anything else in this bag? What is that? A coil for a cascade tank? All right. There's some more things in here. There's a charger, a battery charger. And there is, what is that? No idea. Cascade tank, when passion meets innovation. Yeah, that. So let's just set this down. I think this bag just has this box in it. Nothing else too interesting, no. That's just trash. I see an Xbox controller in this already. Very dirty Xbox 360 controller. <laughs> Look at that. Ew. That's probably not going to be worth very much. Look at that. <gasps> oh, candle holder. <laughs> wow. Uh, we have some light. Ooh, look at icy. Look at this. Hey. I recognize that now. Let's hope that's in there somewhere. I'd be very happy with that. But we got two lighthouses. It's like the little porcelain figures. Uh, ooh. Fishing rod. This is something else I would expect to find with knives Real. and stuff. Real. Not rod. <laughs> Fishing reel, sorry. I'm tired. That. But look what else I see. A night or an owl. I thought it was a night owl. It's just an owl. We don't know if he's a night owl. <laughs> but fishing bait. Check out some of the rocks I see in here already. Ooh. I know these people love these things. So that one. Mm, kind of the same looking thing right there. Not bad. Look. That one's kind of cool looking. Sparkly. Sparkly. That one. There's another one. So a few rocks and like a fishing rig. Why do I keep saying real? <laughs> lure. This, a fishing lure. <laughs> That's all it's in this box, but I like that kind of stuff. I got a diaper box. It looks like it's full of paper, but I just gotta make sure. Look at this. It's like blueprints or something. Huh, check that out. That's kind of weird. But some blueprints, this box might be all paper, but we gotta be sure. Ooh, you know what I see in there though? Target paper. Like shooting range paper for you guys to go to the range. Yeah, this is paper all the way down except for this. What a plastic thing with a glove in it. Look at what I see. It looks like it's missing the string, obviously, but this is definitely probably the bow that goes with those arrows. It's really nice, actually. See what it says on there? Blackhawk Hornet bow. I don't know what all these numbers represent. I've never actually shot a bow in my life. A lot of guns, but no bow. So I'm assuming that's where you would hold it at and pull back and hit something right in the face. Maybe there's string to it in there. I don't even know how you string a bow. Switching sides temporarily because these bags are about ready to go. So let's see what's in them before they go boom. All right, open. Another bag in a bag. It's not a good sign or it could be a good sign. I don't know. What is this? This is heavy duty, whatever it is. Is that a laminator? It's the top to this, which I think oh, is a shredder. Oh, it's a paper shredder. Yeah, look at that. This whole thing here is a paper shredder. So let's get this out the way. This bag's about to go down. If I move my leg, the rest of it's going down too. All right, we're gonna have to use some skills here. Cups. Uh, okay. Wow. Half drinking wine. Chardonnay. <laughs> that, there's another one in here too. I feel another bottle, look. Right here, it's not empty either. They got their wine in the storage unit, great sign, not. Forks and spoons and, well, camo, it's a good thing. Hunters, right? Right. Uh, Starbucks, not hunters. <laughs> so, that's the wife. <laughs> yeah, that's the wife, I hope. Uh, Yeah, the rest of it just seems like whatever. But let me get this out of here, set this down nicely so we don't have spilled wine everywhere. Just like that. Let me see what's in this one. Really quick. Well, I'm seeing a tote of shoes. Always keep your shoes in a tote for some odd reason. I don't know why. There they are. Well, you did that. It's all right. It's just it's going in the trash anyway. I'm seeing a lot of paperwork. More paperwork and a breathing machine. So we're looking at the bottom of the paper shredder, and I find this. 
And look, it's got a bunch of costume jewelry rings on it. None of those are real, but they just so happens to be this one here that I already know is real because it's a school ring. It's marked 10K. So 10 karat gold ring right there at the bottom of the paper shredder. These will all get acid tested once we get home, but I'm pretty sure those are all fake. This is a little coach thing, but we already got gold in knives and we're just getting into it. Before we get any further into this gold mine, please take the five seconds, like the video, subscribe if you're new. We're trying to make December the most liked month of the year. So please do it for us. Let's get back into it. Well, let's see what's in this briefcase. Isn't this interesting? Yeah. I haven't had much luck with these. I mean, usually it's paper, but you know, uh-oh. Is it actually locked? It's locked. I don't know what's in it. We'll like figure that out in a little. It's definitely, no, it's not empty. It's got stuff in it, 100%. Ooh, look at this. So we just move that. We'll get back into that. Well, check these out. Let me open big. this up. Yeah, those are big layers. That's a full set. Look at that, right They're off like the bat. brand new. Are these wood or plastic instead? Plastic. So I've always been told the ones you look for that are worth the most money are the wooded ones because it means they're the older ones. So I don't think these are wood off a of first glance. They don't feel like wood. They feel like plastic. But still, that many, I guarantee you that's worth a nice little bit of change right there. Set it down. Let's see more. Okay, well, this one's empty. Now there's something in there. Let's check what that is. Open up. I don't even know what that is. But it's empty. Nothing important. This one, ooh, it's full. Check that out. This one's completely full of layers too. Boom, look at that. They're all like new too. They're all like literally almost brand new. You could tell these hooks have been used, but very, very lightly, maybe once or twice because unless somebody cleans them all. I don't ever clean my stuff. I just take it out of the river and throw it in there and use it next time so they get dirty fast. But check that out. <laughs> Two brand new things. Pretty close to brand new things, a fishing layer. That's gotta be some money. So I just saw this, it kinda caught my attention because it looks like it could be the color of ivory, but this is definitely plastic, unfortunately. But it is made in Portugal according to the sticker below it. So that could be like a little collector's piece or it could just be a cheap tourist thing. We don't really know. We got the Toastmaster coffee maker okay. actually in there. All right. Good so thing. easy money right there. God sale. Yep. Ooh. Okay, this looks like kitchen. kitchenware. I see a knife set. I see spatulas and measuring cups and things like that. So, same thing. Yard sale. Heck, hunting clothes. I like that. Or pajamas, really, but you know. I feel like you have to be very careful taking off this mountain here. Yeah, we do. And everything's going to be searched thoroughly once we get it home because obviously we just found a gold ring and a paper shredder. You don't know what you're <laughs> going to get in this one. This feels like all clothes for now. We'll mark it up as clothes. It's in a blue bag. This one, definitely not all clothes. Unless it's something really heavy. Might be shoes. Let's see what we got in here. Wawa. 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 I'm gonna go in there like an employee to act like I work there. <laughs> hey guys, I'm just getting my complimentary, you know, whatever I want. Keys, bands, things like that. Just personal stuff like that. Ugh, what's in this one? This is a bag of bags. Everybody, no matter where you at, where you live, you have this in your house somewhere. Everybody has a bag of bags. You're like, we're gonna keep them. Why? We don't know, but you just keep them to keep them. Eventually, you might use them for something. This, another bag of bags. No, this is like a home stitch scarf. Redkins. Ew. Oh, there's good belongs in the trash. Jump rope. Uh, not much in here. These are all pictures. This is stuff that I'll get back to the original owner. So let's just get this blue bag right down on the ground. What should I grab next? Any like, that box. Let me get this. Okay. Let's see this bag. I see pill containers in it. And the reason I like pill containers, because in the last unit, we found a 14 garat gold necklace in a pill bottle, just like this. So always don't throw them away just because they look like this. You never know. Check everything. So I'm seeing some empty pill bottles. Here's a big platter. Hmm. You always gotta look at stuff like this because it could always be sterling silver. I don't know right now. I doubt it because it's colored, but I don't know. And here's the, this one has a marking on it. That goes with it though, doesn't it? Looks like it. And it says F.B. Roger Silver Company. So, but it might be plated. It could be sterling silver. It could also be plated. So. We don't know about that. That could be worth a lot of money right now. We just sold a silverware set from the last unit for $1,100. So 
If it's silver, it could be something. Pills, pills, real pills, and nothing else. So let's go ahead and get this bag out. Now I'm gonna pull down this big box from the front. What does that say, DWK Corporation? Yeah. Home accessories and stuff like that. And it's untaped. No, it's not. Ugh, now it is. Yeah, I got that muscle, you know. <laughs> Whatever this is, it looks like it's, it's a tiger. It's a tiger. It looks like it. Let's open this box and see what it is. This is super cool. Look at that. It's like a tiger's head on a rock. And it's legit glass, brand new. They never took this out of the box. Nice. That is legitimately <laughs> so freaking cool right there. I don't know what something like this would retail for, but I can't imagine that's cheap. Check out the little base he's on and everything. That is really cool. Let's get him back in the box so he doesn't get broken. Can I say this unit goes so far back now that I can kind of start, you're not gonna be able to see it. I can barely see it at my height. They go so far back. We got so much stuff in here. All right, let's see what's in this bag. Feels like it's clothes, but we'll look, make sure. Yeah, this looks like clothes, paper, what's in the grocery bag? Pop-Tarts, eat fresh. That's Subway's logo, I don't know why I said so good. Eat They're fresh. <laughs> eat good, all right? Taste-wise, definitely not health-wise. Yeah, this is all clothes and paper, so from what I feel. Again, we go into this stuff in more detail at home, but ooh, look at that. Whoa. That is a RC car. The Nomad. The Tiger was in there. From Radio Shack. Oh, rest, Old rest school. in peace, Radio Shack. You think he's in there too? Please, I think he's in there. It was what? 150 bucks back in the day. Whenever they got it. Radio Shack, you know what the only thing I ever used them for? Batteries. batteries. Cheap, yeah, batteries. cheap batteries. Oh yeah, Whoa. look at him. That car is in there. Ooh. I don't want to take it out. But that's super nice too. The Nomad Digital Proportional, it looks like what it says from Radio Shack. Nice RC car. I am loving this unit already. Of course we find a six foot tree right in the box and never open, why? Because we just bought our six foot tree like two weeks ago and you know how the rule of storage units work. Once you buy it, then you'll find it. If I didn't buy it though, 100% this would have dematerialized inside the unit and would have never been in there to begin with. So, that's all right. Ugh. Yes, okay, I was getting nervous about this. There is the controller to the RC car. I was like, I see the car, but I don't see the controller. I was getting a little bit nervous. There's the controller. This is an old school Xbox 360 power brick from the original ones. I recognize that. And this is just, this is from the newer ones, like the ones that came out with the Kinect to the second generation of Xbox 360. And the controller to this with a bunch of wire. So definitely keep this box. Check out this little box. What do you think it is? Something. Oh, that's a good guess. You know what it sounds like to me? I'm gonna guess what? Toy cars. No. Oh, it's all Lures. brand new. Lures. <laughs> I don't see a price on these, but these are all brand spanking new. That's a lot of them, actually. Let's look at this. Let me count these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16 brand new lures. What about the other collection? So it says Fishing Traditions, it's 1937 crankbait. Uh, I'm just putting this out there in case my fishing people <laughs> know a little bit more about the brands because I don't. But I can't imagine they're that cheap. Even if they're two bucks a piece, that's still $32 in that box right there. But I have a hope that they're gonna be worth a lot more than that. So this looks like a bag of paperwork inside a bag of clothes. Two of the best things you can find inside of a storage unit not um i see more nas oh look look at all this swords a lot i see like three swords okay hold on, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on this looks like bag of paper junk we don't want to look at that this is what we want to look at right here let's get one of these out from here ah. oh yes where there's one there's more <laughs> look at that beauty he's a little dirty but He's a little dirty. Hi. Yeah, I've already gendered him. <laughs> He's got a nice handle on him. Look at this like dragon wings it looks like. Cool. And look at the holder. I'm just gonna call it a holder because I feel like I always mispronounce it. <laughs> That's really sick. Here you go. With great honor for you. Thank you. Thank you. There's more though. There's more swords. Oh. 
Uh oh, it's coming out the thing. They have it upside down. Why would you store it like this? Ah, come here, buddy. Ooh. Look at the red one. That's super nice. Look at that handle. This looks like some white weapon you get like late in a game. The sword of a thousand <laughs> truths. <sighs> that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving these swords. Did I put it in the right way? No, I didn't because I'm not that smart. Again, I honor you with the sword. Thank you. I think there's more. I don't think we're done with the sword yet, guys. No, we're not. This has got a wooden handle. Check that out. This one might be old. Ooh, look at that. What a beauty. This one's from Pakistan, it says right there. This mm. one's really nice. Wooden handles intrigue me. It looks like once upon a time, it might have had a wrap around it. And maybe because it's so old, this just came off over time. But that's pretty sick. Let's put this back in its holder. Holder? You know what so, must be done now. I, I'm sorry, sir, but I don't have any more hands. Grow another please. hand, please. <laughs> Grow another one. Is that all the swords? No. <laughs> Here's a nice little one. This got the wooden handle, too. That's so sick. I am so nervous when I left the house about spending this kind of money, but I am so happy already. We barely touched this unit. Did you grow your other hand? No. I'm just gonna stick this in your pocket. <laughs> right here. Thanks. All right. <laughs> just keep that there. Is that all the swords? Um, 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 um. It is for now, but look what I see. Is that another NASCAR? It one is. of 5,000 still in the box? Different number on that one, the whole different car. Yeah, I know, it still looks super nice. 124 scale, uh, 1989, 1999, platinum. That's pretty freaking cool. cool. That's definitely going on the side. I love this unit already. This looks like a bag of paperwork, thing like that. Yeah. This looks like a battery pack that probably goes to that big RC car we just found. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this in my pocket so I don't lose it. So we got the thing that goes over your car window to keep the scent out. What is this thing? Leg cast, I guess. Yeah. I see these under armor. They look like military boots to me. Is that what they're supposed to be or is that what they actually are? No idea. I don't they're think... in good condition. Yeah, they're in great shape. I think they're supposed to replicate it. I doubt Under Armour makes legitimate military boots to go to combat. I don't think you so. You never know. You never know, but <laughs> I don't think so. But the bad thing is we only got one right now. Let's hope we can find the other one in here. There's a little rug. It's going to toss it aside. <sighs> you see that? Yep. I see 24 karat gold. Well, we'll get to it slowly. Let's pull this little thing off right here. What is it? Awkwardly heavy. All right. We got a business communication textbook, third edition. Textbooks are one of those things. If you've ever been in college, you know this can cost $300. This can cost 10 cents, depending on when it came out and what edition it is. So that's something we got to look up. This is somebody's high school diploma. This will go with the pictures. They, we always make sure they get that kind of stuff back. Uh, this and this bowl. So, what are these needles? No, I don't mm. know what these are. They look like acupuncture needles, actually. I have no idea. Don't they? Kind of. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just guessing here. And this thing, made in China. Not really too sure what that is. It's just a bowl. So let's set all this right here, and let's pull out that other car. Well. Whatever that is. It looks like something came out of like a snake's cage. Mm. This one is 24 karat gold plated commemorative series. Check that car nice. out. It's plated in gold. So who's the driver here? Mm. I don't know anything about NASCAR. That's a number 98. Yeah, 98 guys. Let me know down in the comments who the drivers are. But that is pretty freaking cool. I'm guessing this is some kind of brace, maybe. Leg brace, foot brace, foot boot, maybe. One of those things. I said, like, I said 12 things, <laughs> one of them gotta be right. Uh, what is that? A touch up spray gun, we need this. <laughs> Cause somebody smacked the yellow We don't need to talk about that. In our car. We don't Who need did to that? talk about that. My mind wasn't there. That's all right. <laughs> we got this thingy, what is that? Picture frame? Yeah, it's a photo album. We'll make sure they get that back with their other stuff. What is this? This is a Texaco Ooh, tugboat, tugboat bank. Ooh. Take it out. Let's take it. it out. 
I don't think they opened it. Like the box is like, I don't know, it's stuck closed. It's got its paperwork with it and everything. Look at that, never been opened. Check that sucker out. That is pretty cool right there. Uh, can I just say it one more time? My original limit went this unit was 750, but I just had that gut feeling that it was gonna be a good one. So I went up to a grand, even though I didn't want to. I am so happy I did it. Sometimes trust your guts, guys. Trust your guts. Check this out. Rockwell. What is this? Is this a paper cutter, it looks like? Yeah. And it's actually the lineup. I guess maybe cut paper or wood. One of the two. I can't tell if he's cutting the wood here, if he's using the wood as a table in the picture. Yeah. But either which way. This has never been opened. Cool. I'm really wondering the backstory of this unit. Based off some of the paperwork we went through, I saw some hospital stuff. So my assumption is right now, somebody probably passed away and a family member just threw all their stuff in a storage unit and said, good luck. That's my guess. I don't know, but let's just keep pulling stuff out. Like this is a leather jacket. Check that out. Sea Dream. Anyone recognize that brand? I don't, but leather jackets are always good money and it's kind of weird see the string at the top <coughs> sorry that's kind of weird isn't it <laughs> yeah that's kind of cool though see, leather jackets always sell they're always good money so this feels like it has shoes in it too let's just rip it open and look a little bit into it and again all these boxes will be searched in detail later on what is that <laughs> Ooh, what oh. are the cars in here <laughs> they pulled they drove it right through the hall the hallway right. mini cooper could fit back there i think yeah, maybe. Or one of the smart cars. Yeah. Uh, license plate. Covers? Yeah, that's what I meant, covers. So let's just get this bag on out of here too. The rest of it feels like clothes, but again, let me reemphasize. We'll go through this in more detail later on. Got this. You got this. I don't know what this is. It's clothes, it feels like. Fair jeans. Probably dirty clothes. But, yeah, probably. You always look at your jeans because some of the vintage Levi's are bank. So always check them for Levi's especially. What's in here? Ooh, Ooh what do we w got here? Aw. What, what, what is that? Is that a piece of tape or a rock in there? This? In the box, this. There's nothing in the box. What's that? A piece oh, of tape. tape. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? Am I, I was seeing like, stuff? <laughs> I was making sure it wasn't like a super special crystal. I felt like I was just on drugs for a second. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, where? I, I tend to do that to people. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <The Bible. laughs> Stop making me laugh when you go through stuff. <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be another Honda thing. Sure is. The thing they give you with their car that you most likely immediately take off when you get home, or at least I did when we bought ours. This looks like paperwork other than that. Now get in there. We don't want to look at paper, your paperwork right now. So, is this all pictures? This is all uh, picture books and things like that. This is another thing that I see that I'm really glad it's in here because we are planning on getting an enclosed trailer really soon and we we're gonna have to buy a dolly. There's a dolly right there. A dolly. Happy about that. This, right now, closed. Let's just throw it out. Ugh. What is this, a crock pot? Yeah. What is this, a ramp? A dolly and two like plastic, hard plastic ramps. Right? They're not metal. No, they're plastic. So, this is the Hamilton Beach crock pot. I like that these boxes here are bubble wrapped. I really do. So I moved some clothes bags out the way and looky what I see here. Do you see what I see? Ooh, that's a rusty one, isn't it? Definitely. But I don't know if it's old. Could be worth money still. Somebody, a lot of people like to restore these. They could restore the blades and stuff. So not gonna count it out yet. I'll put it with the other storage, but how many swords slash knives are we up to in this unit? I don't know. One that. in that whole pile. Uh, <laughs> like seven? Six? I think it's like 10. I found a pair of neuterers here. That's what these are for. So if someone misbehaves, boom, right off and they're gone. That's what we're calling those. Those are neuterers. This is something kind of sad though, unfortunately. So what this looks like to me is a safe, but a safe, it's already opened. So that kind of sucks. Let's see what we see in there besides pictures. I mean, most of the time, that's what you're gonna find in safes in this business realistically. But every now and then, you get lucky too. From what I can see, this looks like pictures and paperwork all the way to the bottom. But again, we will definitely be checked harder to make sure there's no cash in there. What's poking through the black bag? What, what is that? I probably shouldn't be touching it, not knowing. Yeah. Maybe I just caught an STD, I don't know. Um, let's see, there's some clothes. Get out of here, clothes. Get out of here, box. It says shoes on the shoe box. Thanks for the note, I wasn't sure already. 
Ooh, what's in here? There's a box in there. But first, we gotta get this down. There's stuff in here that's definitely not closed. Let's kind of rip it a little bit. It's already ripped. This looks like it might be the toy thing. Ow! Yeah. Okay, it's like a giant axe for Halloween. <laughs> but it feels like some other stuff down here. What is it? Hmm, feels weird. What is this? You're yeah, like a mystery box right now. I know. What? This feels like a rock. I'm gonna open it. It's a rock! It's a An rock. RVA rock. <laughs> it's a rock from this city we're in right now. Isn't that just lovely? So I'm gonna just go ahead and assume, based off what I see, this is probably, ooh, look, 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 look. Not heavy enough to have anything in it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and assume this is probably their toy bag. This bag is all closed, it feels like, or actually feels like a blanket, a comforter. Nothing we wanna look at. Here's another leather jacket. Ooh, this one's heavy. Oh, what is that, is that Harley? It's an eagle. Ah, uh, it looks like the eagle. Look at that though. That's cool. It's a heavy duty leather jacket. This is definitely a, a motorcycle guy jacket. It's heavy duty. Is it actual leather? Yeah, it's definitely leather. What's the tag say? Heavy. There's no tag. Nah. Look, it says 52. It's in orange. It's the top of the tag. Mm. What if it's, like a it's a vintage Harley. Harley? It could be vintage <laughs> Harley. You guys, I'm relying on you. Somebody's got to know what that's worth or what it is. Please let us know down in the comments. Let's see what's in the blue suitcase. Hopefully this one's not locked. An old suitcase. Let's see. Oh, no, that one's open. And like nine out of ten times, it's actually closed. What's this? Is there glasses in there? Yeah, they're Ray actually. Oh, they're Ray-Bans. I don't think these are right, though. Why is that always the case? No, Perry Ellis. Ah. Keep your Ray-Bans in your Ray-Bans Seriously. That's good. I'm going to make that a law now. Pills. Let's just go through this really quickly. I'm seeing pill bottles. Bible. Uh, what is that? I don't even know. This looks like a reel or a spool. No idea. Um, some cards. Uh oh. Yeah, these are cards. Let's see what we got in here. Or are they? No, what are these? Whithall Company. Hey, this was the on that box. It was. What was this originally? Oh, this might be the receipt, receipt for it. Let's see what it was and what it cost. It was a 14 karat gold something. Oh my gosh, they paid $3,000 for what it was. No way. Three, I don't want to show it, it has their name on it, but they paid $3,000. Let's hope we can find it. <laughs> Let's really hope we can find it. Wait a second. Aww. <sighs> Nothing in there right now, but we'll definitely go into more detail. You know what? We're gonna go into more detail right now. Let's look around this suitcase because now it's got my interest. Spool. I'm not seeing much else in there. What is that? <laughs> All right. Got us a little knife in there. Added to the collection of knives already. And this looks like more like a kitchen knife though. Like maybe it's a fillet knife. Maybe. maybe something like that. But other than that, yeah, I'm not seeing much else in the suitcase, unfortunately. But we will find it if it's there. Let's see what's in the box in this bag really quick. Simply thick. That's Instant what I am. food thickener. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you simply thick. I'm simply thick. <laughs> you didn't see none of that. Uh, this is actually what it is, unfortunately. This big bag right here. It's like all pill bottles. But like I said before, some of these don't have pills. I found a 14 karat gold necklace in a pill bottle before. 600 and some dollar gold necklace in a pill bottle. So. There are a lot of pill bottles to shake yeah. in. <laughs> I'm not seeing nothing in there right now, though, so. It looks like paperwork and pill bottles, but again, they will be checked individually, every single one. These are the boxes I hate seeing. They're money, they always sell for like a buck a piece. That's probably $10 at our yard sale, but it's such a heavy pain for a little bit of money. Let me get the kitchen stuff on out of here. I'm seeing clothes, clothes, more clothes. Uh, there might be, there's like a coffee maker in there. Look at that. Mm. A coffee maker surrounded by clothes. So this is coming. Oh, look at a little fishing rod. Hey. That's coming right. Ooh. No way. Look at this box. This might very well be all fishing stuff. I don't know why there's clothes in it, but let's pull out the unit and go through it. I'm going to try my best to show you what's in here because look at these clothes. Everything is like just horribly stored, but there are all kinds of lures, and I'm talking hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds of different lures in this box. So we got these, 
We got some more fishing lures right here. Some of them definitely look old. I see a pill bottle. See, this pill bottle has sinkers in it, so anything could be in the bottles and the other ones. Look at that. That looks old, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's pull it out of here. That's wood. That's wood. So that's a wooden lure. I can tell you just by feeling it. The wooden ones are usually where the money's at. And I don't know which ones in specific. That's just the generalization I've been told throughout the storage journey we've been through. Here's some more. Ow. There's so many hooks. Like I'm already, I've already gotten hooked twice. So I'm trying my best to go through these and show you. There's a little minnow. There's some more. There's, I mean, there's got to be like 200 in here. This easy. is gonna take a while. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna take some serious going through. But I mean, I'm telling you, there's easily, easily 200 plus in here. I'm gonna say like 300 layers, and a lot of them look like they're in brand new conditions. So that is just money. We could very well have our money for the whole unit paid for already just today. You know what this is for? Once you've used the other things for the neutering, just to get rid of the extra parts. Ooh. What's left? That makes me cringe just saying. All right, let's see what's in this black trash right here because these are coming down too. Feels like a jar to me. Let's see. Yep, like a mason jar. I'm not seeing much else in here besides toys? toys either. Yeah, a lot of toys, things like that. Let's just set this aside. This one, I'm feeling like the same stuff, but we're gonna check anyway. Just really quick, Why is, everything's double bagged. So it's, it smells like alcohol, like badly. Yep. Ooh, that's, my, that's good. That's <laughs> not good. Kids toys and alcohol. Like, as soon as I opened it, that's got that smell. I see another car probably here. Looks like an RC car to me. Yeah, that might be where the battery pack went to, maybe. Mm. I don't know. But this one's full of toys, too. And a shoe. <laughs> and just random, random, random stuff. That's for sure. Let's pull through this bag really quick. This one's closed. You can tell. Ooh, look what I see! Another short? No. Video games. Oh, the hammer. <laughs> oh. I see video games. <laughs> I wasn't even Resident looking Evil in a box. 5. <laughs> well, it's got part of the Grand Theft Auto 4 Liberty City DLC and one of the Resident Evil 5 discs. Um, are these are these are CDs. Black Eyed Peas is brand new. Cool. Never been opened. There's a 360 Connect. Uh, a couple more games. Tomb Raider. Grand Theft Auto 5. The Goat. Uh, ooh. This is the thing that comes when you buy a new camcorder. It like comes in there and shows you how to use it if you don't know how to press record beforehand. This is a whole DVD to show you how to press record and stop it. Um, well, I'm seeing a couple more games. Uh, well, this is their bag collection. Let's take that somewhere else. That's all that's in that box. The games in their inappropriate collection. So now we're home and I got even more good news. So check this out, come to the table really quick. This is from the rings we went ahead and acid tested all of them. This whole thing right here, these are all costume jewelry. They're worth pretty much nothing. They just go on a lot for stuff like that. This one right here is 10 karat gold plated with the heart. These two, the one we knew already, the school ring here, we knew that one was gold, but this one's actually white gold. These have been acid tested already. This one's got like a red stone in it. This one's also 10 karat gold marked and it passed the acid test. And then we have one more over here that's sterling silver. So literally, half of them are real, half of them are costume jewelry. And don't forget, we have a whole box over here that we're start, just now starting to get into. Look at all the lures. There's probably two or 300 lures in here, plus so many more, guys. If you want to see it, you're going to have to come back, like the video, and subscribe if you're new. See you next time.